Hello everyone, it's Melly. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. If you're please don't forget to subscribe down below if you like my content and I will be very happy to welcome you into our community. And for those of you who return to my channel, thank you so, so very, very much. Like I said, I really appreciate it. Today I have an exciting video. It's been a while that I didn't film because um, I was quite busy with my newborn. Uh, and most of all, uh, my internet uh, connection was so low, I couldn't upload any video, so I didn't have the... Uh, how can I say that? The desire to film if I wasn't even, even sure that I will be able to post a video. So it's been a while that I didn't film and I'm so happy to be with you guys today and to do a little review on the new collection from BH Cosmetic. I mean, it was new when I bought this collection, but I think it's pretty uh, still new. Uh, so we have this beautiful palette, Avocado Toast, right here. I think the packaging is so cute and you have uh, a bunch of colors, uh, shimmer, matte and it's more on the green side. You have another one uh, which is like a peach mimosa something and uh, the color story was right on my alley but I had the impression that I bought those kind of uh, colors uh, before so I wanted to switch it up a little and bought the green one but I think the other one I will put a picture right now <laughs> to show you what it is and uh, I think it's beautiful beautiful as well but I just couldn't buy everything so I had to make a choice <laughs> Um, but I bought the blushes palette. It is the Bellini palette. You have six blushes and look at that guys. It's just me in type of blushes. <laughs> peach, peach, peach. It's just my life, people. <laughs> and you have as well the bronzer and highlight palette. I think it's really pretty as well. It's called Belgian Waffle. I think that they did a great job on the packaging and the names of this collection. So if you want to see what I think about it, uh, how I achieve doing this look and on the face as well, then keep on watching. And let me know guys, today I just did uh, I just show you the eyeshadow and the palette, of course, but let me know in the comments down below if you like when I do the the complexion as well on camera. Uh, because I know that I like to watch uh, when the YouTuber doing the old face. Uh, but let me know if you want me to show you how I do my complexion like all the time or if you like to switch up with videos that are more focused on the eyes and then other video when I do the old face. Let me know. So today I will begin with the eyes and I'm gonna use this eyeshadow palette that I showed you before. So like I said it is avocado, avocado toast. I think it's so cute. <laughs> and we have a mirror and this combination of colors so obviously of, of greens but we still have some uh, like pinkish uh, colors and the shimmers looks look incredible so I just can't wait to use it uh, my brush is dirty okay I know it you don't have to tell me <laughs> I know it I'm gonna begin with this color Avo Toast right here and I will put this color uh, above the crease in the beginning of the eye, in the inner corner of the eye. I have my pillowies base on. I put some cream eyeshadow first, I mean the color, not the texture, to help the blending. I think this color in particular is really the color of an avocado for me. In my mind, I see this green. I'm going to continue with the color ripe. And I'm going to end it right here at the end of the brow. Not going too low. I'm just like following the shape of my eyebrow. 
I'm gonna finish with peat, which is like a brown, brownish reddish color. And I will go a little bit up. And then closing, going back to the eye, like a mini triangle. I cut the crease and now I'm gonna use the color pink salt into the inner corner and I will continue with paprika. With a little bit of pink salt with a fluffier brush I'm gonna blend between the two colors. For the inner corner I'm gonna use avocado. This beautiful shimmer, let's do a swatch because I really enjoy the swatch of sh shimmer. It's like a champagne color, so beautiful. I didn't wet the brush or anything, I'm just applying it. And that is so freaking pretty. I'm really impressed with the shimmer of BH Cosmetic. For the under eyes, I'm gonna use the greens that I used above. I'm gonna put a little bit of pink salt right here. And I'm gonna use pit in the outer V. Just, you know, to connect. Under the brows, I'm gonna use lemon pepper. Let's do a little swatch. This is so gorgeous. I want to use another shimmer in the beginning of the eye, but I'm not quite sure which one. Or maybe a little bit of expensive, but more in the outer V, because it's more like a deep rose. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try a little bit of expensive right here. We have a green juice the first green and then under extra and I think I'm gonna use a little bit of both maybe but under the eyes so I'm gonna use first the green juice and I will put it right here and under the other V extra Okay, so I finished up the look. I put the color Holy Moly. This one is like very deep, deep, deep. Is it green? I'm not even sure. Deep green, pretty black, I would say. Something like that. Um, as a liner and into the inner corner as well. I put some lashes on. Those are the ones that I bought on the YesStyle website. I will put a video uh, where I showed you uh, these, uh, those lashes right here. And uh, what else did I do? I put some um, eyeliner into my waterline. And I used the Store Liner Waterproof from Arc-en-Ciel in the color Forêt, which is forest in English. And uh, yeah, let's do uh, the face now. I'm gonna use this beautiful palette. I think it's so freaking cute. And um, I will use the color cinnamon, oh, sorry. The color cinnamon as a bronzer. And I'm gonna use a BH Cosmetic. Um, that's my baby. <laughs> They are very, very soft. And I think they're really good quality, those uh, pencils. I really recommend, it, recommend them. The color is very pretty and it blends easily. I think the color better you can probably probably use it for a more contour shade if you're my skin type. Deeper, I, I don't know, I, I don't know. 
uh, buttermilk uh, under the eyes and uh, maybe in the T-zone if you want to highlight uh, some zone. And here you have three highlights. Uh, this one is too deep for me, but I can uh, use it as an eyeshadow. And uh, I'm gonna swatch powdered sugar. So you have right here uh, powdered sugar and sy syrup. And as you can see, my pole is really too deep for me, but uh, beautiful color nonetheless. And I think it's more in the gold side, champagne uh, gold color. And I absolutely love this kind of color uh, as an highlight. So I'm gonna use a BH Cosmetic uh, brush as well. And today I want to use powdered sugar. They are quite intense, as you can see. They are quite shimmery, but you don't have any um, glitter on the face, like chunks of glitters. I use a little bit of um, cinnamon as well on the nose, like going through. And it's really natural, not talking about the highlight here, uh, the bronzer, it's really on the more natural side, and I like it. Okay, and then to finish up uh, with the BH Cosmetic uh, product, I have this one. I just couldn't resist, you know, or maybe you don't, but I love, I love peach colors for blushes. So I just, yeah, couldn't resist. Apricot, peach, orange, those type of color, coral is just so beautiful to me. And here you are. I mean, you have your numbers of peaches. <laughs> and uh, I really love the name as well. You have Georgia Peach, just peachy. Peachy Kin, Peach of Cake, Loves a Peach, and Peach Please. Just, and I think it can uh, correspond to a lot of uh, skin type, I mean, skin color. Uh, you tell me, but uh, those one I think will be great for more deeper colors. Uh, and maybe even for me, I mean, let's try, let's try Peach Please, even if it's a really dark one. I want to see what it looks like on my skin. The color is so beautiful. I think that they are quite pigmented because I just touched a little bit uh, the, br the blush and I did both cheeks with it on my lips. I used the Clinique Intense, Intense Blush Lip Liner. Then I used the Natasha Denona Athena um, lipstick. It's in the I Need a Nude collection, but I think it was limited edition. So it's a cool tone brown, I love it. For gloss, I put the Gloss in Love from Lancome. A little bit of Mist and Fist from Beauty Maker. do I think of this collection? I really like this little palette. First of all, uh, the packaging is super cute on this collection. I really like the other palette too, like I said. Uh, but I wanted to change it up a, a little, so that's why I take the green. But uh, I think it's really pretty. The shimmers are really great. I really like this formula of shimmer from BH Cosmetic. And I like the Harmony. I think it's, uh, yeah, a lot of green, but you have, like I said, the pink. And I think you can do a lot of uh, looks with this palette. Um, so, and, and you have your mattes, you have your shimmers. I think it's a well-balanced between the two. So I really recommend this palette. And I think that the other one 
uh, should be great too. I don't know why it will not. Uh, the blushes, really pigmented, beautiful colors. I think it will correspond to a lot of different skin uh, color. So I really recommend this one. And um, it is pigmented, but you can, I think, build it up if you're going, if you um, are to go slowly. In fact, let me put a little bit of life's a pitch. Just because, you know. Yeah, the colors are so on my alley. So that's a yes for me. That's a yes for me. And this palette, I think it's really uh, pretty as well. I don't know if it will correspond to every uh, skin color, but uh, for me, it's, uh, it's fine. I mean, it, it, it works. Um, I really like the highlights. They're super shiny and super pretty. Um, and you have three uh, powders that I think are good because you have your under eye and more highlighting powder with that being uh, shimmery, your more contour color and the color more for um, bronze, to bronze for me anyway. So I think it's pretty pretty. Yeah. So yeah, I really recommend this con this uh, collection. They are not the most uh, pigmented uh, eyeshadows. For example, the the one that I used in my other video, the Ace uh, Beauty palette that I used, uh, th those one are really pigmented. You can build it up, and the color shows up. I think it's beautiful. So yeah. Uh, great collection, BH Cosmetic, if you're watching this, which I doubt. <laughs> but uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope that you liked it. If you did, uh, please put a like on this video. Share with a friend who loves makeup as well. And I see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.